Hello, my name is Lady Grundy and I'm really proud to be the principal of Charlotte Technology Primary School. This is the first video of three for our new families and it was really wonderful to see you all when you came to our welcome event and days this summer in preparation for your child joining us in September. Um, we hope that the welcome pack was useful for you and that you found out lots of information and then you were able to come and ask questions. The next stage of this is really, this is the first video of three, um, really that gives you a little bit more detail and follows up on that welcome day. Um, but if you do find that you have more questions, then please do give us a call. Um, we're always here to help and put your minds at rest because this is a big thing. This is, this is your child's first step um, towards their education with us at Shyland Technology Primary School. And really the core purpose of everything we're trying to do here is to empower our pupils to achieve beyond their expectations by providing the very best technology educational opportunities. You know, it very much is about preparing the children that we have with us for bright futures through the very best learning experiences. We are a very passionate team of educationists who really want the best for the children in their care. You trust us with your children. We will absolutely make sure that we do the best for them and for you so that they really can exceed and excel all of their expectations and all of your expectations and ours. Our values go to the core of what we do. Excite, explore, excel. And it is those three words that really drive us. We want our children and our staff to be excited to come to school. We want them to be able to have their learning and explore and have that curiosity and to learn. And if those two steps are in place, we absolutely know that we'll excel. We want this school to be the very best, the very best it can be. And we want your children to be the best versions of themselves that they can be as well. So we are so pleased that we are starting our journey with you. This is the first, as I said, of three videos. And hopefully these videos will explain a little bit more about what we do at Charlotte Technology Primary School and what for you and your child to expect. We look forward to seeing you in September when we start in our brand new building, which is just about to be finished. And again, if you have any questions at all, please, do give us a call and ask us. Thank you. Video one, the start of a very special journey. So a huge welcome. We are so pleased to welcome you and your child to Charlotte Technology Primary School. And this video tells you a little bit about myself, my team, and what we aim to do while your child is with us on their journey in primary school. So Shyland Technology is part of um, the Shyland Collegiate Academy Trust, which is a trust of six schools presently, although it is a growing trust, three secondary schools and three primary schools. And Shyland Technology Primary is the very first of four technology primary schools across the West Midlands. One of the things, there has been education on this site for over a hundred years. So Shyland Collegiate Academy is the secondary school, um, which is the founding member of the Shyland Collegiate Academy Trust. And one of our aspirations is always to have a primary school. We've got our first steps, um, nursery, our daycare provision. 
we have got at now Shyland Technology Primary School, we've got Shyland Collegiate Academy, the secondary school, and we've got our post 16, Shyland Sixth Form. And what this means is that for you and your child, your child can be with us and stay with us on the journey. That means we get to know them, what they're good at, what they need development with, right from birth all the way up to 18. So this goes to the core of what we do. This is our purpose. This is our aim for every single child at Shyland Technology Primary School. We want to empower pupils to achieve beyond your expectations, our expectations, their own expectations by providing the very best technology enabled education opportunities and let me really be clear this is not about children sitting in rows with headphones on um, and just on computers all day long no what we see is that digital technology can absolutely really help our children learn really enhance their learning really engage them with their learning but also providing them with the skills to look after themselves in an online world and it is about preparing our children for a increasingly digital future and to give them the very best start that they can in their learning. So it has to start somewhere and for us it starts at our early years. It is so important to give our children the very very best start and our early years foundation stage made up of our nursery and reception classes we have absolutely looked at giving them the best start possible and if we really focus our energies there it means that things get so much easier as they move throughout the school so we really do passionately believe that giving them a really strong foundation in the early years is the best thing that we can do to make sure that they start their journey with us and they absolutely have that base upon which to build as they move into key stage one through to key stage two and being ready for their secondary school. These are our values. Excite, Explore, Excel. You will hear us talking about these all the time and it goes to the heart of what we are about. These values underpin everything from our curriculum to the way that we teach, to the way that we um, engage with our families and our children and our staff. We have to be excited and ready to come to school and it is about that engagement to learn and making sure that children want to come to school, that they're excited to come to school because if they're excited to come to school, they will learn. It's a lot easier to teach someone who is ready to learn. Exploring the learning and going through that learning journey then once they're ready to learn um, and the wonderful teaching that goes on within our classrooms means that we know if we get those two first values right, then our children will excel. And it is about taking the ceiling away from our children. And for us, it's about enabling them to be the best that they can, removing any barriers, making things really exciting for them so that they can succeed. And the journey really does start in our early years foundation stage. So really our three pillars in terms of success, if we had to say what are the three things that we think a school really needs to do well and what we've really focused on at Shyland Technology Primary is having a really fabulous curriculum uh, and it is a values led curriculum. So that Excite, Explore, Excel, our curriculum is called E3L, built on our values. Technology then enhances and engages and supports everything that we try to do. But our third pillar is just having great teachers. We can have the most wonderful curriculum, we can have the most wonderful school building, and we do. And we can have fabulous technology. But if we don't have great teachers, your children won't learn. And I have got the most amazing team. So why don't we introduce you to some of them? Come and meet some of our team. So there's myself. Um, Lady Grundy. Um, I have been in education now for nearly 25 years. Um, seems a long time when you say that. Um, and I have worked across, I've been fortunate to work across a number of primary schools, um, but also at secondary schools. So I've seen where the children have been and what they need to do 
in order to get into secondary school. So I've worked at Shire and Collegiate Academy um, for 12 years before um, returning to primary to head up Shire and Technology Primary, which I'm so proud to be. The first technology primary school in the Midlands really is something to be really proud of. But I've got a great team. So I'm my vice principal is Mrs Keeler. Um, she is a specialist leader in education for the Early Years Foundation stage. And so she's really been able to work with me to make sure that the children really do get the best start. And they've had a fabulous start this year. And your child, when they join us, will equally have a great start. Um, here are our Early Years um, teachers. We've got Miss Bernard. We've got Miss Bannister and we've got Miss Ballard. Um, it is not a requirement <clears throat> to have a surname beginning with B. It just happens to be that this year. But they really are a phenomenal team of teachers. Um, moving into Key Stage 1, we have got um, also Mrs. Par Miss Parker um, and also Mr. McCarhill, who's been with us last year as well. And then in terms of Year 2, we've got Mr. Parks. Um, and we've got Miss Clark as well, who is an additional teacher. So we have got additional support in the classroom. More than one teacher will be teaching your child just to make sure that we give them the best start possible. In terms of support, we have got Miss um, Ward, Miss Matharu and also Miss Devi. Um, three fabulous um, curriculum support assistants who really do um, help the children um, make the progress that they need and support the teacher in the ways that you would want them to do. We've also got um, supporting Charlotte Technology Primary School, our wider trust team. So we've got Mr. Vaney and Mr. Collins works with me looking after all of the primaries within our trust and they are based at Charlotte Technology Primary School. So we have additional teachers who are there to support and mentor our teachers as well. We have our wonderful office team led by Mrs Shocker and ably supported by Miss Gorman um, who make a wonderful team and you'll be seeing a lot of them um, as you come into school or if you phone the school office. These are the people that you will be talking to. Um, one of the things that is a unique about us are our partnerships that we have with real high profile national and international organisations. So you have Microsoft, we are part of the Microsoft um, Showcase Schools um, worldwide um, and we work in partnership with them and that means we get access to and support um, to the latest technologies and software that they produce. Um, we also work really closely with the um, Birmingham Hippodrome um, Theatre Company um, and they work with us and we have their staff working with our children uh, on a weekly basis. We're also proud to have a fantastic relationship with the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra supporting us and helping us with our music. Um, so the arts are really important to us if your child is showing an aptitude in, in music, in dance, in drama, then we really are the school for your child. And then finally, we also have our partnership with Smart Technologies, which is, again, a global brand in education that produce some of the um, audio visual um, boards that you see in the majority of classrooms up and down the UK. But our most, part, most important partners in learning you know, is you. Um, we passionately believe that developing really good relationships with our families will, will help our children in the future. And we absolutely see you as partners in learning. It's really clear the families who, who, who support their children and the impact that that has. If we can work with you, we can absolutely springboard your child to success. So we value that partnership and your contribution working with us towards your children having that, that success and learning. And we will create a culture of innovation and confidence that will enable the very youngest of our children to flourish and grow into independent, creative and confident learners. 
So as I've said, our early education, we ensure that all of our children have a very broad and balanced curriculum. We don't narrow it down too much. The focus, of course, is on literacy and on maths, but we also make sure they have that breadth, which is so important to really create a whole child, a child that understands and, and appreciates the wider the curriculum. Our practitioners are highly trained to look at observation, um, to observe your child, um, see the progress that they're able to make and assess that and then really create learning opportunities to move their children on um, and under the guidance of Mrs Keeler um, and Miss Bannister the team were really able to, to do that. So we opened this year um, um, we opened last year with just our reception in year one and this year in September we will have four year groups so we will have 26 places for our morning nursery we will have two classes of reception children and we will have two classes of year one and two classes of year two now next year um, we will have uh, then our year three class and we will continue to add as we move along um, and hopefully we will have enough children to have a morning and an afternoon in nursery next year um, until we are completely full in September 2024 and we will have our very first year six cohort. So our building, we are so fortunate to have the first brand new school being built in Sandwell for 40 years. There have been other schools that have been rebuilt and other schools that have merged together, but this is genuinely the very first school to be built in Sandwell for 40 years, a primary school. Um, and it will be ready to move in by August 2020. Now, we have worked really closely with the construction company, with the local authority, to really design a purpose-built school for the 21st century and hopefully beyond that. Um, it's been purpose-built for our children and includes above and beyond what you would see in a normal school, an immersive room, a room where we can immerse our children into different worlds and project whether they are in the middle of a volcano or whether they're in the middle of a Victorian classroom or in space, we can transport our children anywhere um, and we're really excited to have our very own immersive room. Um, there will be a STEM innovation room. We very much see that the design um, subjects and being able to uh, manufacture and make things is really important skill, especially as we're in the heart of the of the Midlands, where manufacturing business opportunities and jobs um, are so are so important. So, working with our secondary school, we really make sure that our children have got access to the very latest equipment, such as laser cutters, 3D printers, etc. We have flexible learning spaces. Um, we have a rooftop play area. We, our classrooms are oversized, so they are, are much bigger and much roomier um, for our children. And we have a playground for each key stage. So that means we don't have to have staggered breaks or have to try and negotiate who goes first and has one playtime and who has the other. Um, we've also invested in really high quality furniture and that, that's, that is important. Um, we've worked with a company called Community Playthings where all the furniture is handmade um, for our early years foundation stage um, in natural materials in wood and they really are built to last for for decades and the other great thing is as we are so close to Hadley Stadium and also Shireland Collegiate Academy the secondary it means that we can use their facilities as well um, and be able to to go um, and work with them in partnership so this was a year ago, Thursday the 27th of June 2019, this is what the site looked, with, looked like. They had just started work um, digging and this is what it looks like on June the 27th, one year later. And as you can see, it is almost ready for us and for our children to move into um, in August and when they join us in September. Um, here's just a, a little sneaky preview um, of um, what it's looking like and how it's shaping up at the moment. And you can see there a rooftop play space with AstroTurf on there, um, which will be for our year five and six children. But of course, as we don't have our year five and six children at the moment, 
all of our children will be able to go and really um, use that space and, and take advantage of it. So just to say thank you for, for listening to me. Um, as a, It would have been really nice to have, have, have um, presented to you in person, um, but current circumstances don't allow for that. But we are really pleased that you are joining with us on our, our first step together. It is a really big step, isn't it, for children to, to come um, and join their primary school for the first time. But just wanted to say that we will be with you every step of the way and we will be holding your hand as your child joins us at Child and Technology Primary School. Thank you very much. <laughs>